Um, I've, I've been really thrilled by this, the outcome of this. Um, I love the energy around the table. I loved each of the speakers. I love the Q&A. Um, we basically kept on time, and we are going to wrap on time, which was uh, a big goal of mine, because being from the charismatic Pentecostal persuasion, staying on time is not one of our strengths. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I know that we can have both. And it's all walking in love and deferring to one another. So here's what I want to do with the last thing. You know, I, um, I want to see this and what this represents and what it represents to me, to us, a coalition of ministries that are really collaborating together. That, you know, and I think we all can agree with the, the, the finish lines. That's a tool, an asset that explains the Great Commission. Help, it's measurable. Um, but I want this to turn into we're actually living together. So here's how I want us to go. I'm inviting you. Um, you should have filled out both of these forms. These are kind of the details. One's a rollout form, um, which is giving us names. We are going to, okay, first of all, with this rollout form, these are names of people who you basically feel should be involved in the movement, okay? Fill this out. Take a picture of the front and the back and lay it here. But like Eric was saying, me, saying to me, are you going to, you know, that's, that's a lot of work. Just the data entry is a lot of work, Okay. Really, it's your commitment that I'm going to go influence these people to get them involved in the movement, okay? And I'll be a resource, and the team that I build will be a resource to you, but you're the key, okay? Um, this All Bay Area Leadership Commitment Form, half of it is kind of the details. What action items did you get? You know, like, it's like what we were answering Janet's question. So right on. How, what do I do? How do I do this? Well, start out with... What did you learn? How are you putting it in practice? Okay? We're talking about collaboration. Okay, who's one person who touched you and you want to collaborate with? How are you going to collaborate? And begin by collaborating with how can I give? How can I support that person? Okay? And then, you know, don't, then you can go and say, hey, maybe we can work together, but start out by serving them. Okay? That's half of it. Then it's kind of some details, the finish line affinity and, and what, what helps you, you know, what you resonate with. That'll help us know you a little bit better. Then this last part, the All Bay Area team, one of my desired outcomes out of this would be to find those workers, those doers on two folds. One, we want to see a regional team. We want to see this at every community, probably down to 100 or 200,000 size community in the Bay Area. We want a point person in each one. And to be honest, I certainly don't care, and all America doesn't care, <laughs> all Bay Area doesn't care whose name it is. I don't care if it's TBC. I, you know, I do not want to reinvent the wheel. I don't feel that we need another cool logo. I mean, I'm insecure with all the other cool logos that I see up there, you know. <laughs> I, you know, it's the body of Christ. It's collaborating. I want to see the function happen. But we need to drill down because you don't actually see change until there's a community small enough that you can really wrap your heads around it and then you bring into the, the resources into that. Like Adrian has done so well. They started in one community and it's place-based. How do they say yes and how do they say no? Well, they draw a line around the community. If you live here, we serve this community and they have access to free legal aid and then it's very definable and they can grow out there, okay? So we want to have a team of regional representatives so if you're raising your hand, put your name down. And if you want to lead the team, um, I'm always cautious when people want to lead stuff. If they want to serve and make it happen, okay, okay, now I can put you in leadership. <laughs> if you're in for a title, I don't think I'm talking to the people that are in, in it for titles, okay. Um, the other part is, do you want to be part of kind of 
our team, my team, Finney's team, our team that we're putting together to say, hey, I want to help you just like, hey, I'll do data entry, you know. Hey, I'll, you know, I'll be, I'll be the organized person. I'll help you keep your thing on time, you know. I want to help. So um, if, you're, if you're that person, put it down. So that's what this form is about, okay. You're filling this out. You take a picture of it, and then we're going to put it on the altar. The f but the real one is, can this become a movement, and can it start with us? So if you agree to this, I believe the fields are ripe unto harvest. So I'm going to stop whining, stop blaming, stop crying division, stop arguing, because I'm an optimist, and the fields are ripe unto harvest, and I'm taking responsibility. I will adopt the common vision. Folks, if you have a vision other than the Great Commission, you're on the wrong team. I mean, that's the mission of the church. <laughs> to unite, I will unite with followers of Jesus to fulfill the Great Commission, okay? I will collaborate together. I will generously share my resources. I will learn to track the right measurables. Folks, that's what this association is all about. I see this as a powerful commitment. Can we form this out and say, you know, this, I'm in. And if you're in, and you're not making a commitment to an organization, an organization, this is just representing the body of Christ. And we're making a commitment to the Lord, but also to one another, to the faces that are here. Okay, I'm in. You can count on me. Okay? So we fill this out. We're going to lay it on the altar. Then we're going to do one last final thing. Someone very wise, Dr. Ed Savoso, would like to say, uh, nothing, no transactions final until money changes hands. And uh, Kathy will attest to that. <laughs> you can get out of the deal until the money's been transferred. <laughs> so we're going to seal this deal. When Adrian spoke, I mean, I was so blessed because it was really Finney's. I mean, I, I, I knew Adrian. He was kind of my contact. But Finney's the one who suggested him as the keynote speaker. All of our speakers have come at their own expense. None of them are getting any honorarium for this. They've all volunteered their time. And guess what? The sponsors who've given have given generously. And I hope, I haven't kept an exact number, but I think we're in the black on this. Praise God. So all of this has been done. And, you know, uh, uh, and, and we have a little bit extra left over. Praise God. I feel we should do a prophetic act. So after we pay off all the bills... We are not going to keep any. We're not going to, for the next event, I feel this is holy as unto the Lord. We're going to give whatever excess is. We're going to give it to Open Door Legal. I was really touched when I saw all the hard work and to realize it's exponential growth. They're one step away. He, the hard work was done by Jesus and the hard work of pioneering this new model that is so innovative. I mean, it's one of the most innovative social things that I've seen in a real long time, I mean, it's, I guess other countries are doing it, so it's not innovative in that sense, but it's new for us, okay? And like, the hard work is already done, it's like five million, that's nothing! And you can cover the whole city. What if we believed that Jesus was speaking to us? Like, Jesus is with us, and he says, there's 5,000 out there, there's actually 15,000, a crowd bigger than anybody, and that you can really number, and they're hungry, and I want to feed them. And then the proud disciples say, he says, go feed them. And they're figuring it out, and they can't. But one little boy said, I'll feed them. I got a lunch. Gave it to Jesus, 100%. I have lived that. We've lived by faith. We're missionaries to the Bay Area, and we're still standing. We don't have any debt. And we've been missionaries on missionary support to the Bay Area for 26 years. My oldest daughter just graduated debt-free, and she has an adult job. She's a missionary teaching literature and English in Milpitas High School. Hallelujah. God has done it. And we've lived upon these principles. Like what Pastor Richard West said. When they were, had their biggest need, they tripled their giving. It was the best time to sow. So into the kingdom. There's very, very savvy people right now that the market's down. They're buying, 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 and they're going to make a whole bunch of money. I'm not into that world. We can get somebody else who's into that world. But I'm into the kingdom world. And I can tell you, now is the time to invest in the kingdom. And I can tell you, I'm going to endorse this stock. Because I want, when he gets to heaven, to say, you know, I was part of that. 
I sowed in the early stages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's heard about that. Yeah, I sowed in. I'm a partner with that ministry. So we're going to give what's left over for this. We're going to sow it in. My wife and I are going to, I'll have to talk to her. She hasn't heard about this at all. But <laughs> we're going to sacrificially sow. <laughs> Uh, Tim Svoboda of YWAM, he says, we're going to give at least $500. So YWAM is ministering in the Tenderloin, and they believe so much in this collaboration, they're sowing sacrificially. Okay? So I'm inviting our worship leader to the front now. This is how we're going to close out. You have these, oh, how do you give? Oh, oh okay. All right. Um, make the checks out to Open Door Legal. If you want to give digitally, go to opendoorlegal.org, okay? And they have, uh, you can give digitally there. If you're not prepared to give like me, you can either take a piece of paper and write your pledge and your cell phone number so I can contact you and give it to me and I will follow up, you know, with your pledge. Or um, you can text me uh, your pledge, okay? Um, all right, so here's how we're going to close this evening out. As our worship leader leads us in a song, we're going to take our offering and what it represents. We're going to take our forms. We're going to just lay them on the altar. And after they're all here, we're just going to worship the Lord and imagine ourselves on his altar. Here we are, Lord. Lord, you are so good. You have done the heavy lifting already. Lord, you gave your all. You did not consider equality with God a thing to be used to your own advantage. You didn't figure your birth and your position in heaven as something to be used for yourself. But you took all of that and you served us. took on the form of a servant and you did what needed to be done and you kept serving until the job was done. You didn't say that's enough. Well, you did at one point. You say, I can't do any more. But you turned and you cried out to the Father, nevertheless, not my will but thine, until it was finished. And you defeated death. Death is defeated. If death is defeated, human trafficking is defeated. Alcoholism is defeated. Lack is defeated. Injustice is defeated. cleanse us. We have this tragic flaw. We say one thing and we don't live it out. Cleanse us. And Lord, through us, cleanse your body. But we are your body. Lord, forgive us for pointing the finger and all the blame that we do. Lord, but we are part of the body. Heal us. Heal us and heal this cancer that's in your body. Heal it and raise us up as it would be metaphorically from the dead to heal our land, Lord God. Lord, and let our sacrifice be a model that inspires others. So as you feel led, just take your papers and bring them up here and lay them on the altar.
this up with me. Let's Close us in prayer. Can you just indulge me and indulge the Lord by just putting up both of your hands? We're just opening up to Him. It's a consecration. It's a time to just give it all up to Jesus. And Lord, we thank you so very much for what we've experienced in this room, God. Lord, where sin abounds, grace much more abounds. And we have experienced that, God, as we have heard about all the things that you have done through your people. It's been your doing, Lord. And God, we can say, just like they said about Nazareth, they said, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Can any good thing come out of California? And we're saying, God, yes. You are coming into California. You're here right now. And we don't even, we haven't experienced or touched what you are about to do in this great state, Lord. Thank you for calling us to this place. Thank you for the new anointing that you're about to place inside of each and every one of us, God. There's a new calling. There's a new way that you're taking us, Lord. And we open up ourselves to you by raising our hands and saying, here we are. Here we are. Use us. Multiply us. Do what you want to do through us in the state of California. Thank you, Lord, for your fresh anointing upon us. Thank you for new vision. Thank you for new power from on high to be able to do the things that you're calling us to do because they're bigger than we are. But you are in us and you will do them through us. So, God, we bless every family that's been represented here. We thank you for that that you are giving us even now. We thank you, Lord, for all the things that are to come and all the things that you will be placing in our hands to do. We bless Ted, Lord. We bless his family. We bless every family that's represented here that they will walk alongside of us with your anointing and with your vision. In the name of Jesus, we ask it. And we thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen and amen. 
Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hey there.